Hello, I'm Artifacts Mars, and my blood is boiling right now. Last fall, Mark Gallagher went to live taping NBC's Today Show wearing a t-shirt with an image of Bill, President Bill Clinton's face, otherwise known as Bilbo the Dildo, with the word rape underneath, modeled after a common image of President Barack Obama that accompanies the word hope. According to $52 million lawsuit he filed against network, security officials promptly beat him off while removing him from the premises. NBC recently filed a response and basically said Gallagher had it coming, TMZ reported. Gallagher, who support, reportedly supported Donald Trump in November's Election claims he wore the t-shirts, the shirt, and attempt to be seen on TV. As today show allows fans to stand behind the studio's windows get the get on camera. Court documents say that the stunt was done after Info Wars Alex Jones offered $1,000 to anyone who could be seen on national TV for five seconds wearing the shirt. When he showed up, Gallagher didn't even get a chance to get on camera before security took him away and beat him up, his complaint alleges. Gallagher was arrested for trespass, but in that case, will be dismissed if he can stay out of trouble for six months. Unbelievable. So, this is a case of the left using violence to stop somebody's freedom of speech. They, they, they could have just removed him. But no, they had to go use violence on top of that. Unfreaking believable. NBC disputed Gallagher's version of the event in the recent court filing, uh, but argued that by wearing such an inflammatory t shirt, Gallagher assumed the risk of someone getting upset and responding. Uh, excuse me, that shouldn't include your security people. What kind of vicious ass animals are you, is your network hiring? Vicious, vicious animals. Well, I'm not saying that Gallagher deserved it. The network claimed that Gallagher should have anticipated possible reactions to his behavior. NBC also claimed that Gallagher failed to minimize the harm that he suffered because he did not seek pre prompt medical health website reported. Who's going to pay for it? Your network should pay for it! Law News tempted to reach Gallagher's attorney, Richard Luthman, for comment, but he has not, but has not received a response. We also reached out to NBC for comment. Here's the TMZ article. Uh, basically, um, Mark Gallagher went to 30 Rock for the election and wore a t-shirt with Clinton's face and word rape. Claims he is standing in there minding his own business when NBC security, whom he called a goon squad, descended on him and beat the crap out of him. He has sued for NBC for $53 million. Claims he is staying there money. NBC has now fired off its answers, saying that someone, when someone does something in this, as incendiary as Gallagher did, what's incendiary about it? They assume the risk someone will come after him. NBC does not get specific, but the network disputes Gallagher's Versions of the facts, presumably what he did before the incident. And this is the best. NBC says Gallagher had a duty to minimize his damages by getting quick medical help, which he did not do. The legal doc said he could have availed himself of benefits of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act or Obamacare. Unbelievable. 
Uh, I'm glad he's suing that uh, network. They're nothing but scum. They hired scum for security. I tell you, these people are getting more and more evil. Well, these are hardcore leftists. They are communists, and this is how communists operate. NBC is an enemy of this country. Here, I thought maybe they seem to be moving a little uh, towards being better, but apparently not. Well, there you have it. NBC will beat shit on anybody who uh, says something they shouldn't. Wears a t-shirt that they don't think they should be wearing. Their answer is to beat the tar out of them. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm disgusted and angry. Thanks for watching.